Hello Sexy, we're all back where we belong now, aren't we? Christmas is done, New Year's done, we're all back into the swing of our lives and already bored and hoping for Christmas to come again, even though at the end of Christmas couldn't have been more excited to come back to life. But that's how it goes, isn't it? We're never happy, never ever happy. Anyway, while I was home, I found this. This is my RPE book, which stands for Religious and Personal Education. It's a subject that changes its name quite often, I've noticed. Um, and this is from year seven, which means I would have been 12 slash 13. So I thought I would read you some stuff that 13 year old slash 12 year old Jake wrote. So first of all we go here and I've made a schedule of my day. I vaguely remember having to fill this out and I definitely remember lying about it. They said just fill out what you've done. I didn't really pay attention so just filled it all in at the end of the week because easier. I've put things like uh, Monday, it's, it all starts after school. It's between after school and going to bed. I've put four o'clock, play with sister, get changed, play with sister again. <laughs> play with sister in the school uniform, out of the school uniform, play with sister again. That's the only friend I had. 5.30, every single day at 5.30, I've reserved for neighbours. And then seven o'clock on a Monday, do my top 50, um, which, <laughs> which just shows what a fantastic teenager I was. 7.30, do my top 50, that, that's an hour long task doing the top 50 there. I would have gone to the town um, at some point over the weekend or something to buy some new CDs to play as new entries in my top 50 and I would have recorded the top 50 onto a cassette tape for nobody to hear. It's kind of the same sort of thing the whole way through. There's no point where I say go out with friends, have a friend over, literally that didn't happen. Friday, um, top of the pops, only fools and horses, TV, exercise, TV again. I didn't exercise. That was just because I definitely looked and was like, yeah, I haven't done anything with my body this whole week. I should just lie and say I exercised. I was a fat child. And also here, I got a merit point there for that fantastic thing. Just merit point. Well, and a well done and a tick just for writing in what you've done through the week. It's not really hard work, is it, that? Whoever didn't get a merit point for that, here also I've done some art uh, for it in the Aqua, my favourite band at the time, uh, surrounded it in different colours with their song titles, Dr Jones, Barbie Girl. Bullying. I think the following people are more likely to be bullied and people who are always trying to please the teacher, are very clever, are no good at games, have lots of possessions, cry easily, are loners. <laughs> Here's one of the best things in here, hero slash heroines. Number one, I admire the Venga boys. <laughs> the Venga Boys for having two number ones and once giving their number one to Martine McCutcheon. This is my perfect number three, The Queen's Nose. I like this because it's a brilliant storyline and it's just excellent. <laughs> the Queen's Nose. I was right there. The Queen's Nose was the greatest show you could watch as a child in this country in my generation and if you are my age and grew up in England and didn't watch The Queen's Nose, <sighs> Homework that day was to go home and write a paragraph about your hero, it seems. I've written this. My hero is Mark Goodyear. <laughs> so who's number one? Well, one of those new entries slams straight into the top of the chart and end the reign at number one of the Spice Girls. He's a DJ on Radio 1. He does the UK Top 40 every Sunday and he's made me think about being a DJ. Now I have started my own Top 40 and I record the songs and me onto a tape. So Mark Goodyear's made me think about one job for when I'm older. I got a C2 and a good effort for that one. 24th of March, 2000. Do you like the way I write 2000 there? Look, joined up zeros. I don't know what that's all about. Um, I'm special because things I am good at. I'm good at the N64 games, Banjo and Kazooie and Mario Kart. True fact, I was good at both of those, very good in fact. Try and beat me in Mario Kart, mate. Um, I'm also good at putting a radio show together, like music I like, other people like, and clips from TV shows. My hobbies and interests, I love watching EastEnders. I also like making my Graham radio show and I absolutely love pop music, brackets and dance. Especially Aqua and the Venga Boys. I want you in my room. Loved the Venga Boys at this point in my life. This has only made me realise that I loved, like, I know I liked the Venga Boys, I didn't realise it was a thing. And reading this, I fucking loved the Venga Boys. Teach us about the dangers of alcohol here, or as I like to call it, alcohol. Um, this is like, this is my picture of a beer. I was such a great artist, still am, actually, still am. Um, I've said you lose all your family and friends, you become so addicted that you live and death for alcohol. You live and death for alcohol. Your fingers and toes go numb, your skin goes yellow, and you get drunk when you're drunk. You go all stupid and you could kill yourself. You can drink sensibly, but there are only two ways. They are 
drink small amounts or don't drink. <laughs> don't drink is not a way to drink sensibly, is it? That's not drinking. Don't let people pressure you to take anything you don't want to. There's a picture of a cigarette I've drawn there. Actually, not bad for me. I've put, go on, smoke me, girl. When people pressure you, say one, just no thanks or nah. Two, be like a broken record, so say the same thing over again. E.g. I don't want it. I don't want it. I don't want it. I don't want it. <laughs> so there you go, that was Child Jake writing some stuff for your entertainment. I hope you appreciate it. He worked very hard on that work. Also, I've got 60 subscribers now. That seems like a number, doesn't it? It's a nice number, but I'd really like some more. I don't think I've got the talent to deserve, like, over a few thousand subscribers at all. I would just like a few hundred. So if you don't know me, because if you know me, I'm going to share this anyway to people we know. It's not really going to help. If you don't know me, though, please, like, share it and just, like, tweet it and say, hey, look, this guy's nice. If you want to, if you don't want to, that's fine too. I'd feel a little bit more pressure to make this channel good if more people were watching and stuff. If you don't know me and you're not subscribed, then subscribe, that'd be great. If you don't know me and you are subscribed, then you're wonderful and please leave a comment and say hi. And if you're subscribed and you do know me, then hello. If you do know me and you're not subscribed, then what are you doing? Thanks so much for watching and thank you for subscribing if you're one of those 60 because that's really nice of you and I shall see you later. Thank you. Goodbye. <laughs> the highest new entries at Seward's Cooler Shaker and hey dude and so they're still there at seventh week at number one belongs to the Spice Girls and Wannabe yeah!